Alright, so today in the Fusion 360 Cutlery series, I'm going to be showing you how to make this spoon. Um, this is an organic shape, which means it's a little bit hard to figure out how to start modeling this. Um, with organic shapes, sometimes it's easiest, especially when it's something like this, um, which exists and has a manufacturing process in place. It's easiest to imagine how they would manufacture it and then basically model it the same way. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, the spoon is about six inches long or um, 150 millimeters and this bowl is about 40 millimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a form of one half of this spoon from a top-down view like this. Uh, we're going to mirror it to create the full um, kind of two-dimensional shape and then we're going to um, deform this bowl part so that um, it looks like a spoon. So uh, we're going to start, we're going to create a new design. So we're going to start off, like I said, we're going to create form. Um, it's going to, we're going to, under the create menu, select face. It'll have us select a plane. So I'm going to click top on the view cube to get a top down view and I'll select this plane. Um, I will rotate just to have the dimension on the side. So since it's 150 millimeters long, I'm going to start at 150 millimeters. And I will start drawing in the bowl. So the bowl is 40 millimeters, which will take us to here. So I'm going to start drawing some polygons. And so I've clicked four points and I'm going to end along the Y axis here. Next, I'm going to create another one. I'm going to let it snap to this existing corner. I'll start from there. And I'll create another polygon. And I'll snap to this other existing corner. I'm going to do the same thing a few more times. There's the bowl shape. And then I'll create the handle. And I'll go to the origin. So that's 150 millimeters long. Okay, I've got that shape, and um, I just want to create one more to close this hole here. So I'll just click those four corners. And I've got half of the top-down view of my spoon here. So um, under the face menu, I'll click OK. And it's used kind of the polygons we've drawn to generate these um, splines, these curves. So to mirror it to the other side under the symmetry menu, I'm going to click Mirror Duplicate. It'll have me select a T-spline body, so I'll select what we have here, and it'll have us select a mirror plane. So I'm going to move my view cube here to show you what we're doing. Um, we want to mirror it along this blue axis, so I'm going to select this plane here. corresponding to that axis, and it's mirrored it. So you might be looking at this and you might say, well, um, this handle is a little bit wide. Um, I want to edit the bowl to be the right shape. Um, if you want to do that, you can click Modify. I'm going to Edit Form, and you can just select a vertex or an edge and move it along an axis or a plane. So let's see. I want that to be about here. I want to move this in a little bit. I'm just going to move it along the plane, something over here. And since it's mirrored, um, you can do it on either side and it's going to um, affect both since it's mirrored. So um, I'll say I'm pretty happy with that shape, so I'm going to click OK and finish form. And go to my home view. So I have this two dimensional spoon shape. Like I said, we want to um, kind of push this bowl part down. So to do that, let's see. We've um, created the form. If you want to edit it down in this timeline here, you can right click here and click edit or under the bodies menu, you can um, select body one. Um, under the timeline, you can right click this form one, click edit. And we'll go back to the top down view and I want to edit form. This time I want to select this face 
of the bowl and I'm going to move it down. So you can do this um, however you want your spoon to be shaped. I want it, let's say, four millimeters deep, sure. And I'm going to click OK. And then um, to, instead of extruding this, I'm going to, under the Modify menu, click Thicken. And I'll say I want this to be one millimeter thick. Um, going outwards, you could select inwards. Um, it's just going to affect the way uh, the direction is thickened. But um, anyways, I'm going to click OK. It's thickened it by one millimeter. Uh, if I want to go back and make changes, say I look at this and I say, well, a spoon doesn't really look like this, like this part should be raised up a little bit. Um, again, I can right click form one here. I, I think I had it active, so I'll click save and then I'll click form one here, edit. Um, and I can still modify any of these vertices or edges. So um, in all three dimensions, so say I'm going to move that part up, I can move that up. Okay, so um, again, you can edit anything that you already have in place. Um, that's about it. Um, using the same modify tools, you can style this any way you like. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you today. So thank you.